Turning now to the big screen, the Super Bowl is one of the largest opportunities for advertisers. Rick Laney, president and CEO of Rick Laney Marketing out of Knoxville, takes a look at the probability of making a successful advertisement and past segments that have actually failed. In 2021, here's what to expect. This year, you have Super Bowl advertising that actually dropped in price, which is not typical for the Super Bowl. It didn't drop much. It went from $5.6 million for 30 seconds to $5.5 million per 30 seconds. Um, Super Bowl's always been the go big or go home venue for advertisers. And what it looks like is a lot of these guys decided that considering everything that the past 12 months has been, that they were going to go home rather than go big. Um, it's a risky proposition for a company to drop that kind of money. And that doesn't include the production of the ads. They'll spend millions of dollars making the ad and then spend $5.5 million for 30 seconds to put it on the air. Um, when you look at the hyper-politicized environment that we've had, you look at COVID, you look at social issues, Black Lives Matter, Me Too, all of those things add up to a very risky proposition for a major corporation. They can get it right, but there's also a good possibility that they get it wrong. Um, and I've, I've said before, when talking about Super Bowl advertising, you have to keep in mind that there are 80 to 100 advertisers during the Super Bowl every year. And for maybe seven or eight of them, it was the best decision they ever made. It, it puts them on the map. It makes them high profile. They're visible in their marketplace. But for 70 or 80 of, 80 of those advertisers, it's probably the biggest waste of money they've ever had. And so they have to weigh all of those factors. And what's happened this year is a lot of companies have weighed those factors and decided it's just not the year for them to invest in the Super Bowl. The thing that's a big question mark, and, and corporations hate uncertainty. And the thing that's uncertain this year is you look at the Super Bowl and you say, how do you, how do, you do advertising with more than 300,000 Americans who have died from a pandemic? What does the game look like? Uh, what if they cancel it? What if there's an outbreak among the players and they can't play the game? There are just so many questions that it's surprising to me, actually, that you do have some first time advertisers jumping in because obviously this is a very risky year and maybe they had a great idea. Their agencies came up with a, a fantastic angle or a fantastic message. And I'm sure that after the game, there will be some standout ads, ads that were right, ads that, uh, as they say, read the room and, and got the tone and the messaging correct. Um, but I would also bet a large amount of money that you're going to have some ads that fail horribly. I, I think back to Pepsi. Um, I can't remember if it was one or two years ago, but Pepsi tried to address Black Lives Matter. And they used Kendall Jenner. And literally within 30, 45 seconds of that ad airing, Pepsi was being trashed coast to coast on social media for trivial, trivializing that issue. Um, and so again, even companies that have great intentions can sometimes miss the mark. And, and again, it's, it's a gamble. And I'm sure there will be winners and I'm sure there will be losers. Again, that was Rick Laney, president and CEO of Rick Laney Marketing out of Knoxville. A few notable companies will not air advertisements during Super Bowl 55 this year, including Coke and Pepsi.